I'm like the world's greatest rom-com fan, okay? Like, th like there's, there's literally never been a, a Hollywood ending that I have not loved. And usually, I hate it. I hate it when people try to poke holes in, in, in the romantic ending. But after watching that movie, I can only think one thing. You know, they're just, they're never gonna make it. Nothing has changed. All he did was deliver an incredible line to some divorce support group, all right? Jerry is gonna work too hard, Dorothy's gonna resent him for that, and that little kid is gonna get the short end of the stick because they'll never stop fighting, and soon he's gonna be mad and sad instead of adorable and precocious, and I could just see their whole little family in, 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 in this boat, and the boat is just, just filled with holes. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm in a weird place. I... <laughs> I really, really need a new job. I need it financially, and I need it for my sanity, and I haven't had a nibble, except for this one opportunity in San Francisco, which is clearly a non-starter for anybody with two kids under two, so... <sighs> Tobias? You're gonna be okay. You're both gonna weather the storm. I promise you. That movie... just... just put me in a bad mood. You know, like all romantic comedies do. I mean, and romantic dramas and romantic dramedies. You know, anything that where there's Romance yeah, we involved. get him, Nikki. I just, I, I just can't relate to him. I just, I had one relationship, fifty years ago, Sally Brooks, and I blew it. I blew it. I mean, there's no second chances. There's no happy endings. I, I lost the girl. Roll credits. And. uh and I think, I think that's why I said all that stuff to you. I was just pissed off about my own crappy love life. Sorry. Well, maybe you're onto something. You know, I mean, would Madison and I have ended up together if life hadn't thrown us together in some weird way? I, I don't know. When your mother and I started seeing each other, I remember thinking a lot about that expression written in the stars. I'd always loved that expression. The idea that the universe had big plans, two strangers before they had even crossed paths. I remember thinking that's how it was for your mom and dad, written in the stars. I knew it wasn't like that for me and her. It was strange the way we came together. I knew that. And I was filled with doubt on our wedding day for many days after. But then the years went by and I realized it's okay that yes, there are some love stories that are written in stars. There are other love stories. They're written together. Two people the universe had no plans for, writing their story in the stars together. That's pretty fantastic too, isn't it? I think Jerry and Dorothy made it, Kevin. I really do. <laughs> this is the strangest bachelor party in history. Ah, oh, it's borderline off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can the non-sober people have, like, a beer? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs>